What's up everyone? Chris Chom is here again with a, another one of my how-to videos um, from androidandme.com. I always feel like I say that weird. Dot, dot com. I don't know. Now, when I last left you, uh, I was showing you how to root your Evo 4G, and then um, the last step was we got into flashing a custom ROM, which was CM6, and then I kind of left you high and dry. So in attempt to uh, rectify that situation, <laughs> Re rectify. I just want to show you some of the more basic steps um, in flashing a custom ROM. This of course will be one, backing up the your current ROM. It's always smart to have something backed up that was working that you could always restore to in case things get a little, little funny. So after backing up, I want to show you the second thing, which is, how to flash a custom ROM properly. So I kind of did show you this in my rooting the Evo 4G video at the end when I flashed Cyanogen, but this basically involves wiping your data, wiping your cache, flashing the ROM, and then rebooting. Those are the steps that you would take if you were to do it manually. There is an easier way, which I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. Next, I wanna show you the third thing, which is restoring a custom ROM. So. You backed up the ROM that you that you originally had, whatever one that you flashed and it was working great and you got a little bored with and you want to try something new. Then you flashed another ROM and maybe that one got a little crazy, it started force closing, you couldn't do anything and you freaked out. That would be the time to boot into recovery and um, just restore that old ROM you had and then kind of get your head straight and uh, just have a, a fully functional phone again. So without further ado, kick your feet up, watch carefully, just make sure you do exactly as I do. Yeah. All right, so first thing I just wanna show you guys is, I wanna show you guys how to do it the hard way or the manual way. Basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this just in case um, something goes really wrong in a ROM and you can't get inside the ROM and you can't use that app that we're going to be using later. Um, sometimes when you flash a ROM, things get a little crazy and you get a bunch of force closes and you can't in install anything, you can't get to the market, you basically can't do anything. So I'm going to show you guys what to do in that situation so you don't have to panic or anything. But we're going to uh, power down your phone or power down our phone. And once our phone is powered down, you're just going to hold down the power button and the volume down button. First thing it's going to do actually, you might have missed it, but it's going to check for that PCIMG file. Um, that was involved during the rooting process and stuff. So uh, you might want to delete that off your SD card if you haven't it already because it's going to check for it. And if it finds it, it's going to um, install it and stuff. And you're going to have to go through that whole ordeal all over again. So yeah, I might want to get rid of that. Okay, so uh, you just want to use the volume up and down button, get into recovery. So we're going to go down to recovery and then you press the um, top button up here to select it. Now, if you followed my root video, I actually recommended the Aim and Raw recovery. Um, only because Clockwork Recovery, a lot of developers and stuff on XDA and just people were having a little bit of trouble with it um, wiping everything um, correctly. And uh, what happens is it wasn't wiping some of the cache and that was being carried over to a new ROM. And sometimes that stuff isn't really compatible and then that can create a lot of problems. So a lot of people were saying don't use Clockwork. Um, if it's giving you trouble, I've actually haven't had really much trouble with it at all. Okay, so let's just check out some of the options we have here at the top. You have Reboot Your System. And that will just basically reboot your phone and start up the ROM again. You have apply SD card update dot zip. Uh, you don't really ever have to use that function simply because um, you have to rename um, a ROM. Basically, you would download a ROM, put it on your SD card, and then you would rename it, rename it update dot zip. And that's just a little silly. That was actually one of the old ways of flashing ROMs way back in the day. The next option here is wipe data factory reset. Now, this is basically what you would do when you want to just... Uh, erase all the data that's on your phone. So um, if I click the power button here, it's going to show you the next little bit. Um, I kind of like how it has a bunch of no's and then yes, you want to delete all your data so you, that you don't select it accidentally. Uh, I don't need to delete, delete it right now, so I'm just going to go back, of course. Um, but that's what, the first step that you would do in flashing a new ROM. Um, the next step in flashing a new ROM, of course, would be wipe cache partition. So Let's go ahead and click that, and you're going to see a bunch of options, and then you would click yes, wipe cache part, or wipe cache. Uh, I'm going to go back because I don't need to do that. Now, after you're done wiping all that stuff, you want to install a zip from the SD card. Uh, when I click that, it's going to, um, at the top here, it's going to say apply SD card update.zip, which was the first option in the last menu that we were just at a second ago. Um, that would require you renaming the ROM to update.zip, which we don't really need to do. 
uh, choose zip from SD card. This is good because you get to name the ROM or the zip file of the ROM to whatever you like and then you can just choose the zip from your SD card. Let's go ahead and select it. It's going to show you all the files that are on your SD card. I'm just going to press up and get to the bottom here. And at the bottom you have your zip files. So if you were going to flash the ROM, we would have already did all those wiping steps and then you would just click on the ROM you want to flash and then boom, it would start flashing it. And once it's done, it's going to ask you to reboot and then you just um, would have to probably just go back, I think, unless it already takes, I think it might actually take you to the reboot option. If it doesn't, just keep clicking go back, go back. Um, and then reboot system after uh, you're done flashing that ROM. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Nandroid here, this is where you would go if you um, want to back up your ROM, a ROM that you're on, which is usually a good idea before you flash one. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to back it up a little bit easier way because I don't really like doing it this way. Um, and if you ever backed up a ROM doing it the easy way that I'm going to show you, um, you would basically, if, if something went wrong in a new ROM that you were trying to flash, you would go back into recovery here and then you could restore it this way uh, if for some reason you couldn't get into the ROM manager app to restore. Uh, you just click on that and then it's going to show you the two or well it's going to show you the ROMs that you have backed up. I have CM6 and NetArchy. I'm going to go back because I don't need to restore any of those. Uh, partitions menu, you click on that and that will basically partition your SD card. Uh, don't really need to get into that here because we can do that another way and I'm going to show you guys how to do that using ROM manager. Oh. Um, say you jumped the gun and you wanted to flash a ROM and you downloaded it on your computer and then you booted or you jumped into recovery here and you're like, oh, crap, now what do I do? Um, I need to put a new ROM on my SD card or something, but I can't do that because I'm in recovery and I can't get into my ROM because that one's forced closing. And everything's going crazy. What am I going to do? You would go to partitions menu, which is kind of weird how it's buried in this menu. I think it's kind of silly, but you would... Um, mount USB storage. So you would connect your phone to your computer you in the USB cable and then mount USB storage. Uh, from there, it'll show up on your computer. You can drag and drop the, a new ROM onto your SD card and then you just click, once you're done, uh, you want to unmount USB storage and then go back and then you can uh, install zip from SD card and flash it. Advanced, don't really have to mess with, so um, don't really go into that unless you know what you're doing. I just need to, uh, I'm just gonna reboot the system to get back into our ROM and I'm gonna show you guys how to do everything the easy way which would be um, through the ROM manager app. So what you want to do is go into your market. Uh, once in your uh, market, you just want to type in ROM manager. I kind of have it right there. And then you're going to notice there's two different ones. Let's go ahead and open up the uh, free version, which I already have on my phone. Now what this app does is it basically does everything that recovery does, but it does it from um, inside of a ROM and inside of an app. Um, and it does it from a handy little UI here. So we're just going to go through some of the options here at the top. In order to use a lot of these, like um, install and backup ROMs and all that stuff, they want you to install Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now, I mentioned Kush is the guy that does uh, this app here, and he wants you to use his recovery because he made it um, especially, they made, they're like, they're, they're made for each other. So, of course, if you don't have it, you might have Aemon Raw. So you would just click on Flash, and then you would click HTC. And uh, it'll take a few seconds and it'll say uh, successfully flash clockwork mod recovery and then you'll have uh, a new recovery. It tells you your current and then your latest, which we have. Um, reboot into recovery would be just rebooting into recovery. You click that and it'll just jump straight into recovery. Uh, you don't have to hold this funny stuff or power down and hold it down and go down and the skating androids and blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, th that's just a whole lot easier to uh, boot into recovery there. Um, under ROM management, we have install ROM from an SD card. Now that's a little misleading because you could actually install or flash um, a radio or the 4G WiMAX, an updated 4G WiMAX or the uh, uh, the radio, like I said before. Um, so it's not just a ROM. If you were to flash a ROM, I'm going to show you guys how to do it because remember, you always want to wipe and stuff first. So you're like, well, how do I wipe? Well, this actually makes it easy for you. So let's go to uh, NetArchy OTA, which is the one I have. Um, Install queue, you could actually queue up some zips that you want to flash. So if you want to flash a ROM, then update the radio, then update the WiMAX. You could actually do all of that. You would just add it to a queue. Or say you want to flash the ROM, and then you want to flash a, uh, a updated kernel on top of it. Like, for instance, I have this NetArchy uh, kernel, FroyoWise, whatever. It takes away the 30 frames per second cap, and it actually allows you to overclock the ROM. So you could actually just queue that up, and it'll flash that one right after, which is kind of neat. Um, let's just go to OK to install. 
It's going to give you two options here. It's going to have a backup existing ROM, which you probably want to do before you flash anything. So you would click that and then click OK, and it's going to back it up. It's going to ask you what you want to name it as. I'll show you all that a little bit later. Um, and then if you're flashing a new ROM, you want to wipe data and cache. If you're just updating a current ROM, uh, you pretty much just want to leave that blank. You don't Usually you don't need to uh, wipe your data and cache when you're just updating to a newer version of a ROM you already have. So um, I don't want to do any of that right now because... I don't really want to flash it, I already have it on my phone. Now to flash, say, like a kernel or like the radio, there's the updated radio here, or the Wemax, you would just click it, um, click OK. Uh, don't need to back up the ROM for that, and don't need to wipe data for that, and you would just click OK, and uh, it would just flash it. Pretty easy. No need to boot down and recovery and do all that craziness and mess with all that weird stuff and use these little buttons and all that fun stuff. Um, download a ROM. This is usually for, this is just for premium uh, members. It's going to give you a list of full ROMs, or um, a bunch of ROMs and stuff. On the free version, it actually does give you a few. You have Bugless Beast, Damage Control, which is a good one. Fresh ROM, one of my personal favorites. Uh, they give you a bunch of different ones to choose from. Uh, that makes it a little bit easier than going online on your computer and then trying to look for all these ROMs and their um, their threads on XDA and stuff. All that can be a little bit confusing and a little bit cluttered and all that stuff. It, it gets a little difficult. Uh, premium For premium members, you have the CyanogenMod Mod Nightlies, which are the CyanogenMod, the CM6 ROMs, which are updated every single night because CyanogenMod is awesome. Check for ROM updates. This will check for, um, if you're a premium member, that will check for an update to whatever ROM that you have on your phone right now. So. Pretty handy little option so that you're always up to date on all the current uh, latest versions of whatever ROM you're on. Now, backup and restore. This is uh, how you do it uh, through here. You would uh, manage restore backups. This one is just managing your um, managing or restoring a backup that you already have on your phone. Um, I suppose I should probably show you how to backup a ROM first. So just ba click on backup current ROM. It starts off with a date and then a couple of weird numbers at the end. I usually um, delete those numbers at the end, keep the date, and then I just name it accordingly on whatever it is. I uh, don't need to back it up right now because I already have it backed up. Once it's backed up, manage and restore backups. It'll be saved onto your um, onto a little folder on your SD card called backups, and then inside it has all this stuff here. You can only restore these backups using Clockwork Mod. So if you were to ever flash Aim and Raw Recovery, you wouldn't be able to um, restore these backups. It's kind of weird, I know, but uh, just keep that in mind. Partition your SD card. This is for if you want to create a separate little um, space on your SD card. And it's called an EXT partition. And that will be used. Some ROMs will automatically install all your apps to that EXT partition so that... Um, None of the none of the ROM or none of the apps are being installed on your phone, and it keeps your phone nice and free. Now, one of the cool things about Clockwork Mod Recovery or uh, ROM Manager is that you can actually flash an alternate recovery. So it has raw recovery down there in the latest one. So if you want to flash aim in raw, maybe Clockwork is giving you some trouble. Uh, you could do that just by clicking um, flash alternate recovery, and then if you want to flash old recoveries, you go ahead and click that. Um, under some of the menus, you have. Clear download cache, change logs, if you want to see some of the change logs on some ROMs, uh, buy the premium version, which I highly recommend you do. Erase recovery. Say you wanted to take your phone back to Sprint or something, and you just want to flash a stock ROM with no root on it. Um, if you do that, you'll still have a custom recovery. So by clicking this, it will flash the ROM and then erase the recovery afterwards, and just everything will be stock again. So show advertisements. Keep that checked on there, kids, because that actually um, helps support the developer and then credits. There is um, Kush, and then he gives credit to everyone that helped him with his um, recovery and all this fun stuff. So, yeah, that's it. This is ROM Manager. Um, with this now, you guys will be able to flash custom ROMs and kernels and uh, update your radio and do all that stuff with ease. Uh, it's not really hard. It takes all the guesswork out of it, and it's um, pretty easy. Uh, I wish you guys good luck. I hope this video was really helpful to you. Um, leave me a comment on AndroidMe.com. Try not to leave it on YouTube. I would appreciate that a lot because um, comments are awesome when they're on androidme.com. So um, if this is helpful to you, go ahead and leave me a comment and tell me that, hey, this this was awesome. Thanks. And that'll just be great. I'm Chris Chavez. This is androidme.com. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.